this right here. This is the printed, oh, that was just my notebook. This is the printed out notes for this med fizz level one class. This is her, this is them. What is up you guys? Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm really sorry that I missed the post last week, the upload last week, but yeah, grad school, not a freaking joke. So if you can read, you already know by the title what is going on. I'm just gonna, gonna get ready with y'all, chit chat with y'all about my first week of grad school, like how it went, what happened, what didn't happen, what I expected versus what I got, all of that stuff um, while I get ready because it is Monday. I do have class today at 8 a.m. So let's just get straight into the video, okay? All right, so <clears throat> originally I asked you guys on Twitter and if you don't follow me on Twitter, here's my Twitter handle, you should definitely follow me. But I asked y'all on Twitter, like, what do you guys want to see, um, you know, for my first week of grad school? Do y'all want to see get ready with me? I want to see a vlog for my first day. Like, what do y'all want to see? And basically, y'all said y'all wanted to see, like, a get ready with me of my first day of grad school. And I was prepared for that. I was like, okay, you know, that's cute. I can do that. That's a bet. That's a bet. That's a bet. Baby, let me tell you why it didn't happen literally i was doing my absolute best to be prepared <clears throat> i went to bed early the night before um i was ready to film you know when i woke up and get ready with y'all i have class like at 8 a.m i have my 8 a.m monday wednesday friday so the first day was a monday i had 8 a.m still i was prepared baby <laughs> let me tell y'all I literally, I get up for my 8 a.m. at 6.30, so I have enough time to, like, get ready, eat breakfast, all of that good stuff. Honey, I got up that first day of grad school at, like, seven thirty, seven twenty seven something. Like, I... I'm not gonna lie, I, <laughs> I didn't get up at 7.30, but I did get up at like seven o'clock. So I didn't have time, like I was already in a rush um, to like get dressed and make sure I ate something before I headed there to campus. So I honestly just like ended up completely forgetting to just film. And so yeah, that's what had happened. So yeah, I haven't been late or anything yet, but I was not waking up at my allotted time. But today I did. Today I woke up at the right time and everything is all good and dandy, which is why you're getting this video. So yeah. Um, but back to grad school. So basically my first week of grad school, um, I have, I'm taking 14 hours, only two classes. And the craziest part of it is one of my classes is an eight hour course. Um, it is a medical school class because I am getting my master's in medical sciences. So it's basically like a giant pre-med program. Um, and one of the requirements is that you take at least three med level classes. So one of the classes that I'm taking this semester is a med level class. I'm taking med physiology one. And again, it's an eight hour course. So yeah, um, <laughs> y'all. That course is going to literally be like the death of me. I don't know who told this man that eight hours was a good time for a course. Who told this man that he could like flood us with this much information, but whoever that was, I just want to talk like y'all. The course is so intense every single day like he's kind of doing a um, I don't want to say it's like online but it's kind of online so basically we do go to class Monday Wednesday Friday 
but we only go to class to ask questions. He doesn't lecture or anything in class. He just kind of answers our questions if we have any questions. He lectures, all of his lectures, he posts them online. So every single day, y'all, every single day, Monday through Friday, we have lectures to watch online. And each, it's like maybe three or four videos a day, but each video is like 30 to 40 minutes. So it's like two to three hours of lectures of new material a day on top of other classes, on top of working, on top of creating content for y'all. So I'm just like, okay, I can already see how this is gonna go. But you know, it's really, it's, it's, it's just a lot. The class itself is cool. The teacher, he's a really, really nice guy. He does help a lot. He tends to really go into detail um, when he's talking about, or when he's answering our questions for class because he really does want us to succeed and that's something that i can definitely say about this program everybody who's there all of the teachers all of the tas and instructors they really really want you to succeed they literally give you every single thing that you need to do well um, in the program and then it's really just up to you to decide whether or not you're going to take the Take the help, take the material, take the time to learn it, study, um, use the resource. It's really like up to you whether or not you're going to succeed because hell, are you going to use it or are you just going to look at it, you know? So <clears throat> that's definitely one thing that I can say about the program. Everybody's really, really helpful and they clearly want us to do well. They clearly want us to succeed. But babe, that math is one class. <laughs> it's gonna be plenty of days where I'm about to lose my freaking mind over that class. Like, let me show y'all the notes for the class. I, I did, I did. Hold on. This right here, this is the printed, oh, that was just my number. This is the printed out notes for this med phys level one class. This is her. This is them. This is the notes. Mind you, again, it's only one of my classes. It's only one semester. And that's the notes right there. This this what I'll be learning this semester. So, you know, please be kind to me if I don't post as often or upload as often as you guys want. I promise I'm not being lazy or anything. I'm probably just trying to figure out what the heck is going on in that there's one. I promise you that's probably what I'm doing. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I do have another class, clearly. But <laughs> that's, that's the one that's that's the one that's got me right now. I do have another class. I'm also taking biochemistry this semester. Um, biochemistry though, the one that I'm taking is actually a undergrad and grad class. Um, so basically the way that they do it is like, we have undergraduate students in there as well as graduate students. And the only differentiation differentiation is that we have as grad school students there's a project that we have to do at the end of the semester that the undergrads don't have to do so it's the same material same course uh you know same teacher all of that good stuff we just have a little project not even it's, I don't want to call it little but we have a project that we have to do at the end of the semester um as grad students this course isn't really that bad i did take biochem while i was at dillard and i didn't do like crazy crazy well in it but i did pass um and i know that i need biochem on my mcat so i really wanted to take it again um to really like make sure that i'm understanding the material like like I said, at Dillard, I didn't do well, I just passed, but I'm taking it again to make sure that I do well and not just pass, but 
really do well, really understand the material, what they're trying to teach me, and really committed to memory because I'm going to need this stuff again for the MCAT and also probably again in medical school. So, yeah, my biochem class is cool though. Um, I met a few friends in that class, so that's really nice. Already having like some people to kind of chill with, study with, whoop de whoop. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, like my first week of grad school was intense. It was absolutely intense. It was absolutely a lot. I can tell that this program is going to really push me to my limits. Um, I can tell that it's going to be a lot of hard work, but I'm also, I can also tell that it's going to be really, really fun. Like it's going to be good for me. It's going to help me. Um, in the long run, it's going to make me a better physician, a better student, um, a better med school candidate. So I am excited. I am, I'm ready to do, you know, what I need to do to make sure that I succeed. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated and make sure that I take you guys along on the journey and whatnot. And, you know, yeah, I just, I really felt like I wanted to tell y'all that <laughs> and post this video because this is, y'all, I damn near feel like I'm in med school. And my teacher's like, this is only half of med school. I'm like, well, what the hell do they do in med school? Cause this, this is a little scary. <sighs> but what is that? Did I cut my hair? Who knows? But yeah, y'all, um, your girl is out here in grad school, doing the damn thing, if I do say so myself. Okay, you guys, I just went ahead and finished my hair off camera real quick. I just put it in a slip back ponytail. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, enjoyed me kind of talking to y'all about my first week of grad school. Like I said, I'm going to try to be more on top of um, posting and stuff. But please be patient with me because grad school is whooping my ass right now. And it's only the first week. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you ever have any questions about grad school, my program, MC, medicine stuff, anything that you think I can help you with, please leave the, down those questions down below in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like videos about my grad school experience. And, you know, I would say until next week, but i see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs> I ain't got nothing but time, y'all niggas not on my mind. Hey, I ain't got nothing but time, y'all niggas not on my mind.